And now we're going to talk to another dreamer, another dreamer part of this organization that put all of this together for you today. Laura. I'm short. <laughs> Good afternoon, Philadelphia. What an amazing day to be here in the city of brotherly love. My name is Laura Arblaster, and I am one of the organizers of this amazing historic event. Next to the birth of my child, this is my second baby. Um, the work involved in this and to see this today is nothing short than beautiful. I'm often asked why I march, and that answer is simple. It's my family. I'm going to try not to cry here. Today I stand with you, my fellow brothers and sisters, and march for a cause that is so near and dear to my heart. I am the proud daughter, granddaughter, and niece of Cuban refugees. In April 1964, my family fled communist Cuba, never to return again. Without telling a soul, they shut their front door for the last time, leaving everything behind. They never got to say their final goodbyes because my grandfather knew it was too great of a risk. My family relied on the kindness of others to help them travel to freedom. When they left Cuba, it was Mexico that opened their arms and welcomed my family. It was their home for two months before boarding their last flight right here to Mexico. Or, ooh, to Philadelphia. <laughs> Sorry. Uh <-huh. laughs> it was the kindness of others that gave them opportunities and showed only kindness, compassion, and love. My mother. My mother worked tirelessly on her feet at a laundry factory. Each paycheck she would give to the family to help buy food and pay the bills, recognizing that they needed to work together and contribute. I'll never forget the day of my high school graduation where she pulled me aside, some Gwen and Mercy Academy girls here, and um, showed me her hands, and I thought that was kind of peculiar, but she said, you see Laura, these hands? They shook hands with some of the most important people in Cuba. But they are also the hands that work long hours standing with no air conditioning in a factory. Never forget who you are. She taught me what was important in life. What we need to realize is that we are all one. There is no us and them, no matter what life experiences set us apart. We are all brothers and sisters in humanity. And once we see that, peace will prevail. I am now a proud mother of a beautiful daughter, my Elizabeth, my joy. And like so many of you, we strive to teach our children to be strong, to be kind, and to be compassionate people. It starts with us. We need to show them how to be strong, how to be kind, and how to be compassionate. The best way to do that? Sounds kind of easy, right? We need to lead by example. We need to realize that we are one, that separation and divisiveness is imaginary. And when it comes down to it, we are all brothers and sisters of humanity. By being here today, you are showing our next generation that kindness, compassion, and love always prevails. Thank you. great honor to introduce some of the wonderful councilwomen of Philadelphia. A fellow Latina, Councilwoman Quinona Sanchez, as well as Councilwoman Gim. Thank you. Thank you. 